hello and welcome to our VFX channel tutorial and today we're going to cover object explosion so I'm just going to make a sphere just going to make this simple just for tutorial wise and I'm going to create a particle system PRA and then I'm going to pick the object it's going to be circle a sphere so that's us linked them together but we want the particles to emit through all the timeline so we go down to particle generation but before that go down to viewport display and change it from text to mesh so that's the actual s sphere not particles emitting from the sphere right now particles generation and then emit stop to 100 and the life to 100. Okay. Uh, now we we'll go down to particle type and change it to object fragments. So that's us exploded it, but it's still it's not really realistic. So we're going to change a couple of settings a bit to make it more look like an explosion. We do rotation and collision. And the spin time to around about 60 and the variation to about 45. Let's see. Yeah, it's changed up. It's a bit better. Yeah. Could do a wee bit better. Go back up to our particle generation and change the variation. 10. Let's see what that does. That's changed it. Uh, I'm gonna go for 50. Bit more of a kind of exploding. Not really that good. Okay, so we're just gonna add some gravity. So we go along to space warps, then forces, then gravity, and then we're gonna have to link them. So we go to bind by space warp, and then drag onto the particles, not the sphere. So that says add gravity. Okay, so to get rid of the sphere, all you really need to do is right click and hide selection. So, swapped out well. You can add some deflectors and walls or something like that and make it deflect. But, that's about us. So, please visit VFX channel for more video tutorials on 3D Max and Photoshop.